Don't worry, Rob. I haven't forgotten. Uh, Daryl, I don't give such a good idea. What if he comes home or something? Look, we'll worry about that if the problem arises. Besides, I thought you told me you liked excitement. I never told you that. I just think I remember telling you I hated excitement. <laughs> well, you're gonna love this then. Because it should be pretty boring. This should be easy. There's nobody home. Don't worry, Pete. I know this guy. <laughs> Every time you say you know somebody, they always prove you wrong. So I'm not perfect. But I'll be right one of these days. Look, if a neighbor spots you something, just tell him that you work for the phone, phone company. company. Yeah, I know. <sighs> All right, let's do this. Go park your car across that parking lot over there, and you wait for me. I'll be back in a second. Look, why are we doing this? Why can't we do something normal for a change? You know, drink beers, chase women. <laughs> I'm already spoken for. But I promise you this, I'll have those beers later. Listen, Pete, I have it on good authority that Berman's boys are having an annual thug meeting somewhere outside of town. There's evidence in there just waiting to be picked up. <laughs> and we'll just be surprised. Yeah, and I hope he's not the only one. Go park where you want. I'll see you in a couple. Nice night. <laughs> Nobody move. I'm okay. I'm fine. You guys keep doing what you're doing. You look like you're doing very important business. Don't let me interrupt. You guys have a great night. Take care. I tried to warn you, but you didn't want to listen to me. Fine, fine, now you're in
I heard what you did last night, Hunter. You want to explain that to me? Not really. Look, I've got enough worries to last a lifetime. The last thing I need is you're getting killed. Now tell me, what happened? I appreciate your concern. But really, Al, in all the years you've known me, have you ever gotten killed? You'd be a wise ass. I've been on this case a long time, and I happen to know more than you do. Just looking at you, I can tell two things. One, you've been running through bushes, probably for your life. And two, you've been sleeping on the couch again. Try the bed, Daryl. It's meant for sleeping. Lucky guess. And I like that couch, thank you. It fits my body perfectly. Yeah, yeah. I know that look, Al. You're in a lecture mode. What's it gonna be for today? How we can avoid getting into trouble? Oh, it's too late for that. You already did. I like trouble, Al. I always have. Now, what's up? A lot. Seems that Mr. Bourbon is very pissed off that you're snooping around. It's getting edgy. You keep this up. He's gonna stage another accident, just like your brother. Oh, we can't have that now, can we? Do you have to be so flippant? Sorry. I think it would be a good idea if you stayed with me for a while. I could keep an eye on you. How long are you going to babysit me, Al? You and I both know if Burma wants to get me, you will. The only way to get him first is to get him out of the open. You just don't get it, do you? He's not going to come out for you. For a few bucks, any of his thugs will do it for him. He's not going to take the chance on getting hurt, especially from somebody he knows hates him. For God's sake, Daryl. Learn to be more careful around this guy. You've got to be more responsible. I'm a very responsible person. Want a beer? Not a nine in the morning. All right. How can we get bourbon? Johnson, where is Berman? I'm sorry. I have no comment. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I have no comment. Did he give you bribe money? How much? How much money did he pay you? It's like it's going to rain today. He's responsible for Rob Hunter's death. He's been paying you off. Cover up, Mayor. How much is he paying you, Mr. Mayor? No comment. Is he going to buy a grand bill? Please. Mr. Mayor. Mr. Mayor, please. This is Casey Connery, reporting to you from the border of Grantville, where the town begins. And if you look behind me, you'll see the site where the Berman Construction Company has halted its work, primarily due to the investigation started by the late Rob Hunter. This investigation started shortly before the freak accident that killed Mr. Hunter. It opened up a scandal that started with Mr. Berman and apparently involves many of our city officials, including Mayor Johnson himself. A spokesman for Mr. Berman released a statement just this morning, quote, Mr. Berman believes in the legal system and fully supports it. He is confident that the investigation will reveal his innocence, as well as his good friend, Mayor Johnson. He is outraged that he is being accused of bribery and by all the false charges being brought against him. Because of this, his plans to construct a hotel complex and a shopping mall in place of Grantville have been halted. 
As soon as these hearings are finished, Berman says that the construction will continue as planned, end quote. The final hearings are scheduled for tomorrow, and the fate of Grantville lies in what verdict will be reached. This is Casey Connery reporting to you from Grantville. Now back to you, Jim. And an update on all the news stories of the day. Stay with us. We'll be back. Do you believe in ghosts, Dylan? Life after death? That sort of thing? I guess so. Why? It's nothing. Never mind. I just thought I saw something. Well, what is it? What did you see, Daryl? You'd never believe me. I believe anything you told me. What did you see? I promise to tell you everything, Dawn. Just give me a little more time.
this man's gonna hang himself. I have friends who tell me that he's been paying off city officials, and along the way, evidence waiting to be discovered. That's why I want you to lay low. You might scare him into destroying what I'm after. I'm too close to have that happen now. Now, you've been poking that nose of yours where it doesn't belong. Trust me, Daryl. Stop messing with Berman. Why would he bother with me? Who the hell am I to a guy like that? This is so goddamn important. Why don't you tell him what really happened? Because unless you do, I'm going to keep on doing what I have to until I find out for myself. Before I say anything, I just want you to know that I was only trying to protect you. So don't get all over my ass about why I didn't tell you. All right? All right. Eddie Berman buys land for a living. He's interested in buying hotels, condos, shit like that. Now our town's got a lot of valuable property. And when Eddie first set his eyes on it, became obsessed with buying it. Guess he figured it would be an easy deal. But it didn't turn out that way. Your brother Rob was a major factor in organizing a committee preventing the sale of the property to Berman. They just couldn't be bought out. Can't beat town loyalty. But you can scare people. Exactly. If they won't do what you want, you frighten them, so they'll do anything. But Rob was part of a big cycle that began long ago with your father and the Berman family. It all started when they split up as a result of a bad business deal. I remember all those years the two of them spent in court, one suing the other. And then the hate spread to their two sons, Rob and Eddie. Another generation took up the fight. So when Eddie arrived to buy a section of Grantville, he saw the perfect opportunity to fight an old enemy. I never knew why my fallen Rob hated him so much. I guess they didn't want me to get involved. You are dealing with a very powerful man. His connections are great. Now do you understand? We are playing in the big leagues, and we don't have much help. Maybe we do. I've been experiencing those strange dreams again now. I come so close to understanding them, but the answer keeps slipping away. I think Rob is trying to tell me something. Maybe explain what happened to Give up on that ghost crap, Daryl. Believing in that shit isn't going to help us one bit. I'm afraid Rob is no longer concerned about anything anymore. God, I miss that kid. You're wrong, Al. Dead wrong. Rob is concerned. He's concerned enough to come back to us. I know you don't believe me, Al, but I want you to go to the place where my brother died. See for yourself. Go there and tell me he wasn't murdered, that it was just an accident. Go there, tell me I'm wrong.
just is Mr. Berman. I had an appointment. What do you mean he's in a meeting? Well, you give him this message. You tell him to stay away from Daryl Hunter. Now repeat that back. I thought Berman had more guts. Well, you tell him he can't hide. I'll be watching his every move. Saw my brother. He was in a field. So next to him, looking brand new, was his car. He was trying to tell me something. I started walking towards him. I wanted to hear what he was saying. What does he want me to do? Why does he keep saying to me, not yet? Go on, you've got to help me. My brother's asking for help, I know it. You saw what you needed to see. You've been under a terrible strain lately. The reopening of the case, the sleepless nights, that's a lot of pressure to deal with. I'm not surprised that you thought you saw something. I saw my brother. The place where he died. This is where he wants me to be at a certain time. When... Daryl, I've known you a long time now, and I've never steered you wrong. I think you're on the wrong track. You're looking for some magical event to end the ordeal for you and tie up all the loose ends. It's not going to happen and you're going to tear yourself apart trying to figure out what this means. Stop now, Daryl. No, I won't. I can't. Berman isn't going to sit quietly while we gather evidence against him. He's going to get desperate. No. The only way we're going to win is if my brother comes through for us. Damn it, dude. I'm not talking crazy. You gotta believe me. I have to know that you believe me. Hi, Sue. Mayor Johnson. Is he here? So did you read the paper? Page four, Bernie. Yeah, yeah, what are we doing? Did you call the judge? What'd he say? Oh, good friend, good friend, Bernie, huh? 
What else are you going to do? What are you going to do now? What do you mean it's over? No, Bernie, it ain't over. It ain't over, Bernie. You're coming with me, Bernie. I'm taking you with me, Bernie. Bernie. Hey, Bernie. You did. <laughs> That's another few minutes. Come on, man. This thing is never gonna work. Of course it's gonna work. I gotta understand. I love this car. All the time I spend with it, you have to fall in love with it. You kind of work your soul into it. It becomes a part of you. Mr. Mayor? Is the mayor all right? Yeah, yeah, he's all right. Give me pardon. Yeah, yeah, how you doing? Listen, I got a big favor I gotta ask you. This guy Hunter. Yeah, he's he's getting on my case. We gotta do something about it. Is there any way you can send him on a little vacation? As soon as possible. As soon as possible. I don't care, yeah. I would really appreciate that, you think? Hey, thanks a lot, really. I owe you. All right, I'll talk to you later. Ciao. <laughs> so what do you guys want to do tonight? Babes? Yeah. I feel all right. I feel better now. You know, Daryl, I'm really starting to get tired of being chased around all the time. Analysts think I'm crazy as it is. Well, if we get caught, you'll have all the proof you need. Very funny. What's the matter, Pete? Well, you know, it just gets a little boring having your life threatened all the time. Never mind. <laughs> Hope I'm not getting too boring for you. Oh, don't worry, you're not. Jeez, this guy's really like, pissed off. People nowadays have the worst attitudes. Tell me about it. Up ahead, take the next turn. You got it. All right, Pete, pull over here. Right here? Yeah. Hope you brought that Irish temper with you. <laughs> Never leave home without it. I could on parapsychology. If I'm going to be seeing ghosts, I want to know the whole story. Hmm, I'm glad you're getting into the spirit of the thing. <laughs> Did you find anything out on Berman? I made a few phone calls, and I gathered some information about his company. It doesn't tell us a lot, but it'll help. Daryl, I'm worried. Are you really going to go through with this? Don't worry about that. You know, you're not bad for a first-year law student with very few connections. Not bad at all. You're pretty good, eh? The way I figure it, you owe me one. All right, all right. I guess I'll have to take you to dinner. Well, I don't know. Okay, forget it. No, I'll go. Dinner sounds fine. I knew you'd go. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. I did. No, you didn't.
crazy. What the hell am I doing here? How am I gonna break into Berman's building? Don't worry, I'll help you. bother you, but I wanted to ask if you've seen Daryl around. It's been a couple of days and I'd like to keep an eye on the boy. <laughs> Don't worry too much, Detective. Well, you can call me Al. Okay, Al. Daryl's been hanging around me. Would you like a drink or something? Uh, no thanks. I've got to be going. Um, well, I know you have the ability to keep him out of trouble. I feel better already. Is there something wrong? Not really. Words out that the town's infamous thug is stirring up trouble. You mean Billy? Yes. But don't concern yourself with it too much. As I tell Daryl, that's my job. Uh, Daryl has been telling me about your research regarding a mystic Burma. Now I know you think I'm a prime. But I must warn you, be careful. He's not the type who likes being examined. And if you do happen to find any skeletons in his closet, bring them to me, not Daryl. He'll do something crazy given the chance. Do you know why Daryl's after Berman? Every time I ask him, he goes quiet. Could you tell me, Al? You'd have to promise not to reveal this to anyone. I promise. Well, it's family history. Berman's father wanted to buy the town cemetery for real estate development. Now, Daryl's father thought it was in bad taste. They had a major falling out over it. And when Daryl's father passed away, he was buried there. When Berman's son tried to buy the very same property, Rob couldn't allow it. His family was there. So now you can see why Daryl can't give up the fight. I know. Jesus, his brother's there too. What can be done to stop her? It's already happening, Dawn. The town is coming to its senses. The people are trying to stop the development of the project. But the city is trying to push it through. See the connection? I know you do. So just remember what I told you, and just keep out of the way of Burma. I remember that, Al. Okay, thanks for your time, Tom. Goodbye. Goodbye. Instructions for you, Billy. Detective just came by the other day. He wanted to know if I was keeping you out of trouble. <laughs> and what did you say? 
I told him you had your hands full with me. Hmm, this is true. What the hell did he want, though? He's really concerned about you. Don't worry, he didn't get personal or anything. He's just doing his job. Remember, they're paid to snoop. Mm. <laughs> Besides being so concerned, what else did he say about me? He said you push yourself too hard. Why, Darren? Why don't you just let Jis do the work? I can't explain it to him. I don't know. There are times when I feel like... Like if I slow down for just a second, I'll be overwhelmed by everything. So, I keep pushing myself. When Rob died, I felt like a part of me died too. And then I started having these dreams. <laughs> Rob's trying to tell me something. You know what he said to me once? He told me to have a belief in something. A belief so strong that no matter what, it had to come true. And now I have that belief. I know Rob is coming back. And he's trying to tell me something. And it's going to happen soon. And no matter how crazy it sounds, it's going to happen. It'll happen. What really happened to Rob on that last night? Well, the official report said it was an accident. But everyone knows better. Thanks to you and Detective Gist, I'm setting the record straight. You want to know what really bothers me? I never got the chance to tell him what a great brother he was. There were so many times when I wanted to tell him. He was always there for me. And somehow I felt I should have been there for him. I'm sure he knew, Daryl. I'm sure he knew he had a terrific brother who cared deeply about him. You really think so? I do. Thanks. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening. Well, look. It's getting late. Gotta go. You could stay the night. <sighs> Tempted. <laughs> but, uh, it's gonna be long for a while. Okay? better. I'll avoid getting into any trouble tonight. Get an ugly face. Who's <laughs> ugly now? <laughs> Hello? Hello, dog. Yeah, this is Detective Gist. Have you seen Daryl? I've been trying to reach him all morning. What? 
You don't know where he is either, huh? No, no. I'm just a little worried, that's all. Eddie Berman was officially charged this morning. He already got out on bail. Look, I gotta go. If you see Daryl, stay with him. Wait, don't hang up. What happened? How did they catch Berman? Somehow Daryl got into his files. God knows how. He circulated a letter with names of officials and documents that proves their illegal involvement with Berman and his company. He even sent me a copy. He should have told me first. I'm so scared. Didn't he leave you a note or something? Where is he? Don't worry, Don. I'll find him. If you see Daryl, don't let him out of your sights. I'll call him about an hour. I feel the dreams. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this place holds a lot of memories for me. You see, I brought a lot of guests up here. The trouble is, uh, none of them got a round trip ticket. <laughs> uh, well, but I brought you up here for a special reason. I know you come from a family that loves to share everything. So I know you appreciate this. Now, uh, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, but, uh, your brother, ex-brother, Rob, <laughs> died right here, didn't he? Yeah, I do believe I'm absolutely correct, right in the same spot. In fact, I think he, uh, spun off the rope. <laughs> over a few times and ended up what about? right here. <laughs> Imagine that. You don't look very happy, Hunter. Nope. Don't tell me you don't appreciate all the trouble I've gone through for you. Especially through all the trouble you've given me. <laughs> But he's lucky. Because I'm going to make this quick and simple. You see, first, um, I'm going to have my phone here for a little while. And then my friend here is going to finish things real quick. That sound okay to you? Can I get back to you on that? I love a guy with a sense of humor! <laughs> Check out the fog roll.
Jeanette Davis. I'm standing outside the courtroom where the verdict has just been announced in a trial known as the Bermanville case. After several days of deliberation, the jury has come back with a verdict of guilty on all charges of bribery and 10 counts of illegal tactics to continue the construction on the Grandville property. When the verdict was announced, the courtroom exploded with shouts and accusations. Ironically, the most damaging form of evidence was supplied to authorities through an anonymous person. Sources say that this person is Daryl Hunter, brother to the late Rob Hunter. Once the evidence was researched, Berman seemed shaken by the discovery of the files and the case seemed decided at that point. As a result, Berman has been charged with trying to conceal evidence. Lawyers for Mr. Berman, Mayor Johnson, and his staff have already been filed to appeal the decision. But as it stands, Granville will remain a small town and as some put it, the way history intended. The appeal was set in motion a new set of trials and court dates, but the local residents and the business industry all seem to agree on one thing. Mr. Berman's credibility and nice guy image have been shattered forever. The mayor announced his innocence and will make a statement later. At any rate, it is doubtful whether he'll remain in office for the rest of his term. Reporting from Grantville, this is Anjanette Davis. Back to you, Katie, in the studios. Just is going to be here at any moment. I want you to capture him and dispose of both of them quietly. Then join me at the bridge, Sutton Bridge. From there, it's going to be straight to the airport. them jewels again, I suggest you tell us where Berman is. Fuck you. Give him a shot. No, keep her away. Oh, he's at Sutton Bridge. He's waiting for us there. Daryl, stop right there. We'll get him.
Get that car! It's gonna come and get us, man! It's that car, man! It's that car! Shut up! millions. You hunter so noble. <laughs> so now you're gonna get it too, you little shit. Just like I gave it to your brother. You just don't understand, Vermin. I'm not myself these days. Well, you're dead. All yours, Detective. I finished with him. For a minute there, I thought you were gonna kill him. 
Not my style, Al. Not my style. Look at you, you're a mess. Thanks, you look great too. Well, I guess we won't be seeing Billy anymore. Don't say anything. I know what the accident report has to say. Billy was running from the law and had an unfortunate automobile accident. Damn shame. Thanks a lot, Al. I need you to come through for me. Well, that's what you pay me to do. And I've got a lot of questions to ask you. Like, where the hell did that red car come from? And how did you know where Dawn was? And don't tell me you drunk it, because I won't believe it. Yeah, yeah. Tell me all about it later. I gotta call this shit in. This place will be crawling with people in an hour. you to go. I'll never see you again. Of course you will. I'm with you every day, little brother. See you later, Darryl. Is it fate or random chance? How can I decide? Goodbye, Rob. Goodbye. Are we victims of circumstance when destiny 